Hi and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we'll look back at uh, Manchester City 6, Bournemouth 1. Yeah, 6 1. We like a 6 1, don't we? It's always always a nice score. 4th of November 2023, of course. Uh, not quite a bonfire night, but uh, a few people having the fireworks tonight, that's for sure. And uh, City did, didn't they, with the uh, programme front cover there that's in the background and will be on this uh, vlog somewhere. So we'll have our player ratings with the help of Simon Bukowski of the Manchester Evening news and yeah talking points basically the goals today i don't think there was anything uh untoward a couple of var things to chat about but we'll talk about the game anyway please join me uh, it'd be great to hear from you as well so if you are new to the channel or you're old to the channel uh, yeah let us know your views let us know your comments great to have you on board if you are new push those buttons uh, push the subscribe button do everything city past and present of course great to have your uh, thoughts and views on the match as well so uh, let me know and uh, if it needs a reply i will give a reply if it doesn't need a reply i'll probably just give you a thumbs up and uh, if you can do that for me that'll be very i'll be very very grateful right let's have a look at this game uh, manchester city six bournemouth one four changes uh, to the last game the united game of course last week uh, I got seven. I got seven out of eleven. Not great. I did say there'll be four or five changes. Unfortunately, the four, four or five changes weren't the four or five changes that I made. Uh, so I got seven. All right, it was okay. I, I took a chance on a couple of those anyway. So we had Edison, Walker, Stones, Akanji, Aki, Rodri, Kovacic, Bernardo, Doku, Alves and Haaland. And on the bench, we had Ortega. Phillips, Gavardio, Nunes and Bob. And the four players I had in my 11 that were on the bench, Diaz, Grealish, Foden and Lewis. The Bournemouth 11, yeah, just to give you a quick rundown on theirs. Radu, Ahrens, Metham, Zabani, Kelly, Kirkes, Scott, Philip, Christie, Solanke and Tavernier. So I predicted, uh, as I said, I predicted four or five changes. I was quite happy with that team. No, no big, big problems. Uh, it'd be interesting. I think it gives us an idea who's going to play against young boys, doesn't it? And uh, of course, we may have a problem with Haaland going forward. And I believe uh, Gomez, who I don't think has been coming in the reckoning anyway, as he's apparently he's on crutches at the moment. But uh, we'll probably talk about that in the preview for the young boys game. Right, the first half key moments, of course, Haaland hit a post. I think his, his header was going back across goal. Would it have worried the goal? I'm not too sure, but it took a deflection. Off the defenders, Bonson uh, hit the hit the post anyway. Uh, so it's a bit, a bit of huff and puffing from City. Not not fantastic, but uh, three goals in nine minutes sort of finished off the game basically. Didn't it? Thirty minutes, it's one nil. Doku cut in from the flank. A one two with Rodri and scores from behind the goal. I've not. I've got a quick look back at it. It seemed to take a little bit of a nick. It sort of fooled the keeper. And I think the keeper was. Uh, totally committed it seemed to go over him but uh, anyway I've not I've had a quick look but I can't figure out what happened with that one but uh, Doku gets it anyway it was on target whatever happens even if it took a slight nick 34 minutes it was 2-0 Doku jinx and jives and sets up Bernardo to pass into the goal with his left peg. Very, very gun, gun, gun that type that, isn't it? Gundo type that goal, I thought. Uh, brilliant, just passed it into the goal. 38 minutes, it's 3 0, and Doku can do no wrong. He's shot from the edge of the box, seemingly going wide, uh, but good two, three, four feet wide. Comes off a of Kanji's back. I'm sure a Kanji will say he meant it, but who knows? I was just had a quick look at it on replay, and it uh, quite near his arm as well, but there's no uh, problem with that, so. Three goals in nine minutes, surely game over. Into the second half, the disappointment. Haaland didn't come out, of course, for the second half. Uh, a twisted ankle, was it? Or a knock on the ankle? Uh, we coped all right, didn't we? Uh, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried if Haaland's uh, having a, a couple of weeks off. Uh, I know we'd, we'd love him, but uh, I don't worry too much. Pep, Pep knows how to play without a big striker up front. But in the blink of an eye, it looks like the Cherries are back in it. Yeah, with the softest and easiest. I mean, I would love to have seen it on replay. I've had a chance to see it on replay, but it just seemed like a knife through butter. Uh, Solanke pokes one home, but after lengthy VAR check, the goal is chalked off for offside. So it must have been fairly close because it seems to go on forever. But uh, no, they weren't back in it, so it's still 3-0. So we really needed to get a grip because Bournemouth Bourne were coming at us. We were having a little bit of a go. And we, we, weren't, we weren't controlling the game at that stage for the first five or ten minutes of that second half. But 64 minutes, we weathered the storm. Well, it wasn't exactly Storm Kieran from Bournemouth, was it? But uh, it wasn't that scale. But it's 4-0. 
a super sub folding, yeah, super sub folding glides through. Didn't have far to glide through, did he? But he shimmied through, didn't he? And slots home after receiving a short pass from Doku. So, yeah, great game for Doku, of course. We had a treble, yeah, another treble, treble substitution. Lewis for Stones, Nunes for Rodri, and Phillips for Alvarez on 71. And we did get disrupted a little bit by this. Because on 75 minutes, the Cherries get their reward, probably deservedly so at that stage. Uh, the sort of long diagonal ball out, and Sinistera scores it. Sinistera, after leaving two defenders and City's keeper on his on their arse, a uh, VAR check, but it was all good apparently. I'm not sure what the VAR, VAR check was, uh, was for, in fairness. He looks a decent goal from where we were. But 4-1, uh, did you panic? Well, I was a bit perturbed because we hadn't really got control, but we seemed to get control again. And obviously on 84 minutes, we made it 5-1. What a player, what a goal. Bernardo scampered clear to get himself into the danger zone after a long diagonal left-to-right ball. I think it was a Kanji played it. Uh, I'm not a it's what didn't see him on the replay. I just saw uh, uh, old Bernardo scampering through. I think a Kanji might have played, played the long ball. And a superb dink over the keeper. I mean, the ball's a foot over the line. Of course, they do clear it, but Nunes follows up and puts it in the net. So he would have scored either way. But uh, no, a great little goal. A good, good what? Foot, two foot over the line. So that was 5-1 uh, for City. We had another substitution. Uh, Oscar Bob. Old Bob came on. Oscar Bob, Bob, Bob. For Bernardo on 85 minutes. Uh, I predicted 5-1 for this. So that would have took some of the sting out of their game only seven out of the 11 right for the team but uh, I'll, let, I'll let them off because that's six I'll let them get that six in good grace on 89 minutes as it's of course a brilliant brave diving header from Aki against his old team I think is uh, fantastic an assist from uh, Oscar Bob 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 yeah he's a nice cross from Oscar Bob for the goal and he put his head in the danger zone and scored the goal fantastic from Aki well, there you go. Uh, very comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Very nice to get a few goals, get that goal difference up, which is uh, very important. Usually, very important. Usually, something we dominate, but we've not really done that this season. Stats: shots twenty-one eight on target, five for them, one on target. We had sixty-seven percent possession. That's a lot. 718 passes to 362 and our pass accuracy was uh, yeah very a very good 92 percent not quite 93 it was a couple of weeks ago but 92 will do 85 percent for them which again is very very good fouls eight from us nine from them yellow cards none for us uh, one for them uh, Rodri didn't get one thankfully he's totting them up isn't he so we've got to be careful with Rodri offsides none for us two for them and corners 12 yeah 12 for us one for them we've got to improve our uh, corner taking finish you know, we've got to do some work on that I think on the training ground XG philosophy is absolutely puzzling to me uh, I don't know how this works out City was 2.35 uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm, sure it, I'm sure it works and that's what they're saying it is but there you go and um, Bournemouth was 0.85 right onto the player ratings as I said Simon Bukowski for the Manchester Evening News I'll give you his views and then I'll give you my little two pennyworth and the scores as well Edison Simon said no success with long balls over the top and didn't have much to do with them. Pick the ball out of the net. Yeah, he should give him a six. Yeah, I don't think you can give him more than a six. Uh, no chance with the goals, either offside or, or good. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, just a quiet day for Edison. I thought his distribution was okay. Uh, I just didn't think that they didn't exactly throw the kitchen sink at us, even though they seem to have a, a lot more of the ball in the second half. But uh, Six from me, six from Simon. Walker, Simon said some good cover work with his pace, he did, but also too much uncharacteristically, I can't lose my voice, can't spell, slow, or not spell, I can't read, sloppy play and got in a tangle for the goal. Yeah, I was mean, just on his bum with the other defenders, wasn't he? He's given a six. I thought, he was, I thought he did okay, uh, busy down the right, but his link-up play in that final third was a, was a bit lacking, but he did, he did get back to cover, as mentioned by Simon there, so that was that was pretty good. So he's given a six. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a six. I can't give him any less. I can't particularly give him any more. Stone, Simon said, did not roam forward as often as he has still, but assured in possession and ensured City kept pushing up. 
Simon was giving him a seven. I just thought it was very, very comfortable. He, he kept it and passed it on. Uh, not exactly the wall, not exactly Michael Brown, but uh, you know he was comfortable with it and, and did what he had to do. I don't think I can't. I couldn't remember any errors. So uh, I'll give him a six point five. Simon give him a seven. Can you didn't know much about his goal. He played for it. What do you mean, Simon? He, he, he knew what he was doing, but played well otherwise. Moving forward on the ball with authority. Yeah, I thought Kanji as well as the goal. Um, uh, yep, yeah, alright, great goal. Uh, better again from him, I thought. Uh, he's had a bit of a, a ropey two or three games, but uh, yeah, uh, better from Akanji. He defended when he had to, and he was okay getting in the way up top, and he scored the, so, scored a fantastic goal, didn't he? Absolutely brilliant. Aki played some nice balls forward, said Simon, and got in the score, and got on the scoring sheet at the end. Yeah, so give him a seven, I've given him a seven and a half. I thought it played really, really well. Didn't do anything wrong on that left hand side. Again, a bit like Walker, nothing 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 devastating in that final third, but safe on the ball, kept it and uh, all credit for the goal when he was brave and went in with his head when it was low down. Fantastic from Aki. So I give him a seven and a half, Simon give him a seven. Rodri strolled through the game and then enjoyed an early rest with the game wrapped up. Yeah, can't really add much to that. Uh, Simon's give him a seven, I'll give him a seven. No stress against a generally a lackluster midfield of Bournemouth today, I thought. Kovacic, yeah, I've not been overly impressed recently. Simon said his first league start since Arsenal, still adjusting to City wave lengths, but the full match will do him good. Yes, give him a six. I thought I'm going to go a little bit better. I'm going to give him a six and a half. I thought he did one late run where he sort of ran into a dead end when he's got to know when to pass it and when not to pass it. Uh, but he, he was competent today, I thought. He was okay and a lot better. And I don't remember him doing any dodgy passes like he has been doing recently. So, uh, yeah, and he's... He plays better with Rodri next to him, but obviously he had some of that game without Rodri there and he, he did okay. Alvarez, Simon said, a day when not much came off for him, but he was busy throughout and led the line when Harlan went off. And he's given him a seven. Yeah, I thought he's been a little bit generous. I thought he defended quite well at the time. A couple of times from like set pieces, he was one of the, the, the guys mopping up the ball at the back for us. But uh, yeah, some good play. Nothing exceptional. Just a couple of pre-assists, I think. At least one pre-assist, I remember. And he's, he's sort of taking the corners. They're okay, uh, but we're not getting much from them. So perhaps we'll have to work Work on that. We know we like to take the free kicks and stuff, but we didn't have many of those today in and around the box anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'll give him a 6.5, Simon give him a 7. Bernardo picked up when he left off at Old Trafford, running the game, and his second goal was a sumptuous finish. It certainly was. It was stunning, stunning for a game for me. And um, Pep compared him to Messi, so perhaps he's down for the Ballon d'Or next year, eh? Yeah, Bernardo, why not? So I give him a 9, and Simon give him a 9. Superb performance. Doku, Simon said, one goal and four assists. I think he's the youngest player ever. He's now in Premier League history to do that. Five goals goals or assists in the game. Unplayable, he said, Simon, when, when he wanted to be. And his quality made the difference. And I have to give him a nine as well. Uh, I've given him a nine. Simon's given him a nine. Uh, earned a good fortune. Earned, earned the assist for a Kanji's goal, if you like. And as I said, I'm, I'm not too sure about that first goal, whether it took a slight nick somewhere on the line. But he enjoyed himself and we enjoyed watching him. Harlan, yes, obviously only came, only played the first half. Could have done better, said Simon, with a few half chances before his early substitution. Yeah, uh, he's having one of those games. Wasn't doing too much. Uh, will we miss him? Uh, I, I think Pep's got a plan. If we do, I think we'll cope more without Harlan than we do without Rodri. That's for sure. If it come, comes to the crunch, but uh, he may have scored three in that second half. Harlan, with uh, to be honest with you, against Bournemouth, but uh, we'll never know, will we? Because he's what. But let's hope he's fit enough. Let, let's hope he's fit enough anyway. He's probably going to miss young boys whatever happens so and he probably may have missed that one anyway so we're not too worried about that six from simon a six from me and the substitutes i'll, I'll mark folding because he was on for half a game he came on for Ireland, of course at half time uh, took his goal and looked sharp said simon yeah lively buzzing a great goal uh simon's given a seven and i have given him a seven because if you play a half i'll give him a seven i've not marked the others but simon as lewis for stones on 71 minutes made some intelligent runs said simon give him seven out of ten newness for Rodri on 71 minutes a bit too casual in possession said simon yeah, he nearly had a goal if that ball hadn't been over the line anyway simon give him a six Phillips for Alvarez on 71 minutes, caught in his own half. I think probably means uh, uh, 
uh, in a bad way, I assume, uh, from Simon. So he's given him a six anyway, so not a total disaster. Bob for silver on 85. Simon's given him a seven. He's only on the pitch for 10 minutes with injury time. Uh, but hey, there you go. His first assist, the first assist, is that his first assist? Ever, ever for Bob in a competitive City first team game? Possibly. Anyway, Simon's given him a seven. Probably deserved it for that. Man of the match, yeah, what a, I think this is a tight call. I know everyone, I know I know. I'd give it Doku. Of course I have. I mean, how can you not? <laughs> Four goals and, uh, sorry, <laughs> goals and assists, uh, five out of six isn't too bad, is it? But uh, Bernardo running close. Bernardo was, wasn't far behind. Bernardo was absolutely fantastic. They were both fantastic. I will give it Doku because of the five goals and assists, but... Uh, yeah, just tremendous by both Doku and Bernard. And Bernardo's flying in. Let's like hope he carries on flying. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your player ratings, your man of the match, and stuff like that. Great to hear from you. Any thoughts on the game? What what you? Anything that uh, we've missed or uh, appeal to you, or you you saw that I didn't see, etc. Great to hear from you. Uh, out on Sunday, so I'm doing this Saturday night. Out on Sunday will be my Pepsi 11 for the visit of young boys, so keep your eyes out for that. Press that notification button and please check out obviously all my history blogs. But I've just done a recent two part thing the kids of 86 on a certain Ian Scott. So if you get a chance, guys, I'll put it in the links. Have a look at that as well. So, uh, be great if you can, yeah, so, yeah. And what did you, yeah, yeah, today about our live tv jinx in the 90s as well so i did one of that came out today so i'll have a look at that as well if we get a chance about how we we couldn't win for toffee when we we're on sally but uh, there you go so hope you enjoy it let me know your thoughts guys until we meet again oh that's one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now <laughs>